<laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is Monday morning with Merle and Patty. This is Merle and the singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker, and RelationshipMiracleWorker.com is where you can find me. And this is Patty Negri. And PattyNegri.com, Psychic Medium, Good Witch, and the person who took the little like Snapchat head off Merle moments ago. <laughs> Technology is still not our strong suit. We apologize for being a couple minutes late. We were here, but we just... Uh, we were here. We were on the phone. The phone just wasn't on. <laughs> uh, you can't have everything. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Hi Nascola. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah, we always have a rough start, but hopefully that means rough rehearsal, good show. Um, today, as we always talk about relationships, we're here every Monday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time, and whatever time it is, wherever you are. Um, if you like it, tell your friends. If you don't like it, don't tell your friends. friends. You could send the link afterwards. We will always post it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, but that's enough for the housekeeping. Let's mm -hmm. talk in today, Burning Bridges. I think there's a couple, burning bridges is something you can think about in terms of your personal relationships and, and I, I, I mean with your partner, personal relationships with family and such and friends and, and at work. And yeah. that, that, that should do it. <laughs> <laughs> Any relationship burning bridges. So often when a relationship ends rough for whatever reason, a fight, a breakup, um, we're angry and out of that angry we just want to show them how angry we are and we burn bridges for whatever that means. And what that means is you exploded, said a lot of things that you didn't mean but you knew would really hurt that person and you really felt like you meant it because you were really, really, really angry and then somebody else actually heard what you said <laughs> and got really annoyed at you and then what? How do you take it back? You don't even want to take it back. You could have just shut up in the first place and bit your tongue and not burnt that bridge. Working from the way I work, I work as an energy worker, an energy healer, and I see energy. That's kind of my little psychic gift, one of them. Burning bridges is, even if you do never want to talk to that person again, you are putting a stop in your energy form. Everything comes and goes, and we're always with a flow. As soon as you just burn something up, that is your bridge. It doesn't have to just be to that person. You are literally stopping your own personal energy flow. So whether you ever want to talk to that person again, that person knows people, knows people, knows people. But even if that you don't know any of those person's friends and friends who they're going to talk about it now, you just... You know, you don't want to be on an island. You're burning all your bridges. And more than anything else, when we're in motion, we're in motion. When we stop, when we stop. When we blow up, we blow up. You don't want the world burning around you. That's your world. Never mind what's happening to them. That's your world that you're burning. Well, I, I think the important thing, I, I think at the moment that you explode and you burn a bridge, well, you don't think about burning, you don't even care about burning a bridge. So, but what I'd like to offer people is a different approach to it. When you're in that uh, emotion and anger where you're just spewing out like a volcano, then it's a volcano. <laughs> anyway. Volcano. It's a mountain. Spit. <laughs> Fire. Lava. <laughs> Especially if you're in Hawaii. <laughs> but anyway, really, so think of that in terms of that's like a snapshot portion of your life. But your life is a video. So, okay, you've taken care of that moment in your life where you're really angry. But what about all the things, all the minutes after that? All those minutes after that, that video, your life. So even if, no matter how angry, no matter how much you feel it, it's only going to, it's only going to release that anger in the moment. And then you've got to deal with it the rest of your life. Uh, uh, one of the things that actually made me think of this as a topic was uh, I read a story about um, 
this was a uh, coach, a little league coach. I, I don't, I don't know what sport. Little league of something or other, and he uh, he loved dealing with the kids. The kids were fun. They they had a good time. They were competitive. They worked hard. They did what he said. But at all of the games, the parents of the kids were so insulting. They were so, you no good, you no good, this, you know. He was so upset by the vitriol of the parents of the kids that he quit. He said, it's not worth it. I, I, I'm doing this for nothing. Why should I be abused like this? So here's somebody, here's some bodies, a bunch of people that, oh yes, they let it all out and no, don't they feel better now, but their kids don't have a, um, a coach to play the game. That's just one place in your life where was it really worth it? Because yeah. again, it affects lots of people around you as well as yourself. Um, there's a lot of really good techniques to do. Number one, sometimes you have something you want to get off your mind and say it. Wait till you're a little less angry at best. <laughs> a good technique a lot of people use is writing a letter. Writing a letter, everything you want to say, screw you, blah, blah, blah. But just make sure you don't send it. Tear it up, burn it up, rip it into a thousand pieces. It gets it off your chest and your mind a little bit, but maybe it's something there's really no point to sending them. Or write it three or four times till that the the venom comes out if there really is something you want to say other than just to hurt them or get back at them so see so here's the thing we tend to think that anything we do emotionally where we feel really angry or, or passionate about it that that's the real truth but actually that's just the real emotion it often masks the truth or distorts the truth. You won't know what the truth. You won't know what the truth is <laughs> <laughs> until you calm down. Yeah, I think that's really important. Another play. So, so when when you think of burning bridges, so I think of the times when we tend to be like most emotional. One of the times you tend to be most emotional. Aha, uh -huh, divorce. Would you say you're emotional then? I would say you're emotional then. And you can let it all out and tell him what a son of a gun he is and how he's been a lousy parent and blah, 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 blah. But you're going to, if you have kids, you're going to have to share those kids with him. And you're going to say, I will not do that. But then the court will say, yes, you will. <laughs> so if you can manage, I don't want to say to bite your tongue because I don't want you to draw blood. <laughs> but... Keep your mouth closed. Um, you can think whatever you want, but you can't say it. I mean, you can say it, but and, and let, let's, let's be honest. All of us have said things in haste that, that we were sorry for, yeah. that we were sorry for. Sometimes we're sorry just because we, you know, we hurt somebody. So. Yeah. And even though in that moment, and so often, even if it is really the end of a thing, the person that you, I hate, I hate, I hate, it's really you don't hate them, you've just been hurt. <laughs> you know, it's somebody you might even still love, but you hate that you love them because it's not working out. So it's, it's masked. We don't have to believe everything we think. It, our emotions are real, but our emotions, as Merle said so beautifully, don't have to reflect the truth. Yes, yes, that's really important. It's also important to say happy birthday, Samantha. Happy birthday, <laughs> Samantha! <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I think, um, you know, I was just reading a, um, a uh, what do you call it? So when somebody says something nice about you, not, not a testimonial. reference, a testimonial. <laughs> and um, a former client wrote, and she said um, there were seven things she she has a list on her computer of seven things that i have said to her that she reads every day is that i mean that oh, is yeah that is sweet yes and one of those was about you think you're being strong when you're emotional and you just let it all out and you tell but that's really not strength the strength is to be able to have those feelings hold it in and 
take a breath, take a take a day's worth of breath. <laughs> Weeks. And, <laughs> sometimes. And then think about it. Mm -hmm. So, why... <laughs> I was not interrupting. I whispered, hi, Bradley. I didn't mean to stop you. <laughs> hi, Bradley. <laughs> so, um, I think, I think. have we said everything we want to say about this? Everything that's ever been said. No, I think so. But just, if you guys have any questions about things or situations that have affected you, good or bad, or questions, always, you could put them here. We're actually kind of reading things as it goes these days. Um, or send them to them. We'll answer them later. And also, anything you want subjects for us to talk about at other weeks. We've had a few requests along the way, and we love requests. Okay. If you're having specific situations or issues, let us know, and we will address them with all of our wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Once we get figure out how to turn the camera on. Listen, our wisdom is in our advice. Our uh, lack of wisdom is in how to <laughs> turn on the camera. Little things like that. <laughs> But, ah, uh, yes, Bradley, you're the one, or, or maybe you're not, but I, I do, that's our topic for next week, is, I, I can't remember now, but our topic for next week is, uh, or it's the week after, I'm not sure now, is when people have things in common. Yes. It, is, is it important? How important is is it and what to what extent do you need to have things in common to have a good relationship? So that may be next week or the week after. But yes, I think that's a really important thing to... Uh, hi, Anna. <laughs> I interrupt myself. <laughs> but anyway, so... I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to stay on longer than we have to in order to get the topic through. And I. I just. I don't think we can express it how important it is to not burn bridges. We, the only thing we didn't talk about was at work, and clearly, uh, you understand that it doesn't matter how much somebody annoys you. It. This is not a time. This is not a time to lose your temper. Now, a lot of people manage to hold their temper in when they're at work, and then they go home and take it out on the family. That also is not good. But I have sometimes, if you drive, I have sometimes with the windows open screened. Or windows <laughs> closed. Uh, um, excuse me, with the windows closed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Just the music is on with the windows open. <laughs> but it's very important, please, Think of your life as more than just at this moment of emotion. Think of it as this is a temporary part of your life. So you don't have to scream and explode. Things are going to be different in the next minute or two as long as you push forward. And what did you say that uh, uh, applies here about which, which wolf? What, feed the good wolf. In all my stories, which is my favorite Native American story, it's not mine. We have two wolves out there. One wolf outside your door has all your bad qualities, whatever they are. And the other wolf has all your good qualities. You can decide which one lives. Which, which one? The one you feed. There you go. <laughs> feed the good wolf. I'm going to teach you. Feed the good wolf. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Come back next Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific. I am Patty Negri. You can find me at pattynegri.com, patty.negri Instagram, at pattynegri Twitter, Patty Negri on Facebook, but I my 5,000 friend limit, so follow me there and like Patty Negri Psychic Medium. My name is Marilyn Singer, the relationship miracle worker. I think technology has taken away from the basic family communication. Different topic. We'll, we'll add that to our topic. <laughs> I think that's a good topic, though, because we I go places and you're waiting and it'll mean everybody's, everybody's on the phone. Everybody's on the phone. Good My one, name is still Merle M. Singer. <laughs> now, you can get me on Facebook, Merle Singer, and I, you can friend me. Um, it would be nice if you said where you friended me, you know, that you saw me on Monday morning with Merle and Patty. That would be helpful. I'm on Twitter. I'm on uh, Instagram too, 
And don't forget to buy my book, Cracking the Relationship Code. It's on Amazon. Merle M. Singer, Cracking the Relationship Code. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for turning in. Come back next week. Ask us questions. Bye. Bye-bye.